Hello and welcome to Jester's Comedy Improv. I'm Andy and I'm here with Brandon and today we're going to play a game of Master of Jack. So we're going to be having ourselves a little radio interview here and uh, my friend Brandon here is going to be an expert in some field, some kind of topic. So I'm going to need a suggestion from my mysterious voices of what is he an expert in? Parenting. Parenting. All right. And so now, welcome to Master of Jack. Uh, we have uh, just come back from a great commercial break, and we are here with our expert. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is uh, Father Papa. Father Papa. Well, Father Papa is here today to talk about uh, parenting. Uh, from what I understand, you have written several books on the topic and are the world's foremost expert on parenting. Yes, uh, it, it's, it's a great passion of mine. Uh, as, as you may know, uh, I do not have kids of my own, but I have two parents, and, and that makes me an expert on, on parenting. Well, that's a very interesting take on it, uh, something that we really don't commonly see. Well, um, so obviously this is a call-in show, and uh, our guests are going to have a few questions for you. So it uh, looks like on uh, line one right now, we have Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, what is your question for Father Papa? Uh, Father Papa, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I, I, got a, I got a six year old. Uh, he's real stubborn. He's, he's kind of twitchy and uh, he's not potty trained yet. What, what do I do with that? Not potty trained. Well, I, I think the key is to take advantage of that. You know, what you need to do is um, put down wet mats everywhere, and then you just don't understand that, that he's pottying everywhere. Everything's just always wet. Uh, I hope that helps you, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Father. Well, that's uh, certainly some uh, unusual advice, but uh, you are the expert here. Uh, well, it looks like I've got uh, Sylvia on line four. Sylvia, uh, please uh, pose your question. Well, hi, thanks so much, Father Papa, for taking my call. I was just wondering, what is a good alternative to spanking? Oh, spanking. Controversial topic. You should never spank your child. That, that, is, that is very bad. But my child is very bad. Well, and so um, what is an alternative? I like to do the old, age old, old classic tale of passive aggressiveness. Now, what you do is if they do something that you don't like, you just talk about that thing and say how that really upset you, but don't talk to them. You talk to the air and they'll get it. They'll get it at some point. Very, very interesting idea. All right, looks like we have another one in here. Uh, Betty, uh, Betty, uh, welcome to the show. Please uh, pose your question. Uh, yeah, hi, this is Betty. Um, I'm 12, and how come my parents won't let me get a nipple ring? A, a, a nipple ring? That's yeah, I've already got one, but I want a second one. Oh, uh, yeah, my parents didn't let me have nipple rings until I was 20. Um, well... That's my boyfriend's thing. 20, if that helps. That actually doesn't, but thank you. Um, I would say your parents need to, hmm, have you tried stealing one of their nipple rings? Ooh, Ooh no, I could probably do that. They're passed out most of the time. That makes sense. Makes sense. These are some real solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, this is, I think our listeners are really gaining a lot out of this. Uh, looks like we t have time for uh, one more call. Uh, Sherman, uh, Sherman, you are on the air. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Uh, Father Papa, uh, I, I really appreciate getting advice from a man of the cloth. I, I have a very innocent child um, who wants to know why God lets bad things happen to good people. And if you could just uh, give me a good explanation for that. I appreciate it. Common, common question I get from, from lots of people who come, come to my service. The, the simple answer is, we think that there's good people, but they're really all bad. We're all just born bad, bad boys and girls. And so that's why bad things happen to us, because we're bad. So, so basically, we all deserve it. 
we all deserve it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that's what I will tell my four-year-old. Excellent. Thank great. you. All right. It looked like my producer Buford uh, popped in there for one second. Uh, looked like you had one question of your own before uh, we uh, sign off. Oh, he is giving me the no signal. Uh, he's saying cut him off immediately. And uh, ooh, uh, sorry, Father. It uh, appears that we have been getting some phone calls uh, from the FECC, and uh, we are going to have to call this segment done. Um, to see more of this in the future, uh, I highly recommend that you head to the Jester's Improv Facebook page. Make sure to like it so you get an alert whenever they go live. And definitely go to their YouTube channel because there's a lot of videos like this. Come and check them out because uh, it seems like this show might be in some hot water. So get on there immediately. This has been Master of Jack, signing off.